In our last video on bird plumage, we had a general overview. We looked at what uh, feathers were for, for insulation, for flying, to support the bird or as a tool for camouflage and display. And I'm sure there's a lot more reasons for uh, uses for birds, for feathers on birds. But today we're going to look more at the color of the bird. First of all, we need to realize that birds only reflect light. It sounds a bit silly, but it's true. It sounds a bit silly to have to mention that, but that enables us to get our head into gear as to how to observe birds carefully. So the reflected light is the light that comes off the feathers of the bird back to us, and we identify the birds from that. Or we see the birds from that. I mentioned the hardy dar. Now the hardy dar is generally a dark bird. Not very interesting, sort of, you know, sort of black or, or even the purplish, dark purple. But when the light hits it correctly and the surface feathers bend the light ever so slightly and refract it back to you, you get a sheen. That sheen is generally green or slightly blue and it is beautiful. Now some birds are not have problems with the colors. I don't know why or how but it's a genetic issue and when they are hatched they come out a totally different set of color, colors. I was once driving along and I saw some birds and they were black and I thought wow found a new species carefully photographed them took some pictures of them in the air and so on and so on and so on you'll see them on the uh, on the clip and I took those pictures and carefully gave them to some people I trusted some birding gurus and they looked at them and said that's probably mel melanism I said mel what I said what melanism so I said yes, and so I looked it up, and it was basically when the feathers colors go black or dark brown due to a genetic deficiency. And one of the guys I looked at looked at the pictures with me and said, mm, they look very much like a blacksmith plover. Well, you can see that those black birds are very similar to a, a blacksmith plover plover. So I've come to the conclusion I have some very nice pictures of some melamistic, if that's the right word, blacksmith plovers of my very own, even if they're not important and even if it happens to many other birds. There are other disorders in the pigments of the feathers. Carotendoid that affects the feathers that go, make them go much more yellow or even to orange sometimes and that would throw your identification if you're only watching at the color of the birds totally into the wind and if that isn't enough there are many more two rain that's the yellow one and there's one for the blue feather uh, green feathers as well so that leaves us with a bit of a problem. How do we then identify the birds? We're getting to that. We've done a fair bit of work on that already. We're looking at their feet, looking at their habits, looking at their habitat, looking at their beaks. But we'll get to that a bit more. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and uh, just pass it on to your buddies. We'd appreciate it. Bye.